it's probably different from each person, but I would say a couple of weeks. And so some people can transition, you know, into a shorter eating window a lot faster. But I would say usually at most, I would say hopefully within two weeks, you've, you've kind of gotten more fat adapted. And so what that means is, is that your body is now using fat for fuel instead of using sugar for fuel. Have you heard of that term? Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's like, for me, I'm like, okay. And, and here's the thing, fat adapted is the metabolic state where your body has been in ketosis long enough that you've kind of transitioned where you say, okay, I'm over here. I'm All I'm used to is burning carbs, sugar for all my energy. Now over here, your body's like, okay, we're not getting any more sugar. I'm going to have to use fat for fuel. So yeah. that is basically what that means is that that's what your body's starting to get used to. All right, well, Chantel, thank you so much for answering all these questions on intermittent fasting. And if they have more questions or want more information on intermittent fasting, where should they go? So we have an intermittent fasting group. So check out our Waste Away intermittent fasting group. I think it's called Intermittent Fasting Community Group. You can look for that. So join our Facebook group. You can also go download the podcast. I have two podcasts. One's called Waste Away through intermittent fasting. And one is the Fasting Resets. Uh, podcast. So both of those have great information. And then also go to the fasting reset summit.com. And that's where we had 46 guests talk about everything you could possibly want to know. And it's all about fasting.